this video, I'm going to show you the best way to run the Edge Blitz 3 out of the dollar three two six in order to guarantee pressure against Bunch as long as they don't run play action. So if they block a running back, they block a tight end, it's not going to matter because this is going to come in consistently. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two six defensive ebook, I will put a link in the description to my Patreon page. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that, and what that's going to get you is not only my dollar three two six full defensive ebook, will also uh, also get you all of my all thirty of my Madden twenty two offensive and defensive ebooks. So we'll definitely help you take your game to the next level. The best blitzes in the game are over there. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Today we're talking about the Edge Blitz three out of the dollar three two six and the reason i wanted to hit on this is because this is a really really good blitz from Do uh, dime two three six will most people don't know how to make them really really good out of dollar i'm going to explain the problem and then explain the solution in today's episode of blitz of the day first things first we want our auto alignment to be on base we want our auto flip off really important when running this auto flip off auto alignment to base because it works best when we run the blitz to the left side of the screen Okay, so we're going to flip this play out of the, out of the uh, Edge Blitz 3. And what you're going to do, relatively, really simple. You're going to press. You're going to QB contain. And then I want you to watch what happens. You're going to notice here that this defensive end on the left can be problematic. Sometimes it'll come in. I think it did right there. Sometimes it won't. And the key solution to fixing this, all you have to do is simply spread your defensive line. So we're just going to spread our defensive line. And you see he's just going to move just a step. And then at the snap of the ball, we want to run at the center and then click left trigger. And what you'll see is this looper is going to come in consistently every single time. What's really good about that looper, again, like I said, it works best on the left side of the field. Why does it work best on the left side of the field? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I just find that these loop concepts really work a lot better on that side of the field. Make sure you zone that nickel corner. Put him in anything you want. You can put him in a bluff blitz. You can put him in a vert hook. What I like to do is put him in a vert hook, then I'll shade down and quickly create a cover two on that left side, as you can see. And then I've got the side on the right. And if they block their tight end, this is a very popular way to pick up pressure. You'll notice that this is still going to be a very consistent pressure that you can get at your opponent. Thank you for watching the video. That's the Blitz of the Day. If you want to get the full dollar three two six defensive ebook, there's a link in the description below where you can go sign up for the Patreon page, get you access to everything over there for just ten bucks, including our full dollar three two six defensive guide. Thanks for watching, and I'd encourage you to go check out that Patreon page.